Yeah, thanks for having me. And you actually summarized the quarter perfectly. Uh, we are beating expectations on the top line. And of course, very happy, very happy to report a booming cloud business on a continuous basis now since over two years. And also at a growing base, our current cloud backlog, which is the prediction of our cloud revenue in the quarters to come, is now over 11 billion growing at 25%. But even more important for me, Karen and team is that we are keeping our promise. So in Q1, we're also reporting an increase in operating profit of 12%. And that was always our promise to come back to continuous profitable cloud growth. And this is what we are doing. So I'm very proud about the team. Christian, we are witnessing headwinds for businesses globally. The macroeconomic environment is incredibly difficult and there are hard choices around expenditure at this stage. Are you immune from those trends when you look at your cloud business? I mean, look, Kevin, the good piece is we are serving customers in over 25 industries and we are present in every geography. And of course, talking to sea levels these days, are they feeling their economic pressure? Yes, absolutely, they do. And not everyone has the pricing power to offset this pressure coming from inflation. But there, our technology comes into play. We have technology to automate their businesses. We have technology to transform their business model, to reach more scale and more growth. And of course, CEOs these days, they care about running a sustainable business. So our portfolio is extremely relevant. And this is why we also see a very healthy pipeline for the year. Christian, as you talk about automation, I haven't heard a lot about AI, and that's from you so far. It's in the report today. I know some rivals have uh, used AI across supply chain planning. You've uh, managed to embed AI in some of your SaaS products. What do you mm -hmm. see from here, given it's such a big industry buzzword? Is there interest from your client base, and just how aggressively are you moving into this area? Yeah, so look, we at SAP, we are strong believers since many years, actually, that AI needs to be built for businesses. So well, what does this mean? So we are infusing AI into our software for HR, finance, supply chain, to want these businesses more automated and more intelligent. And are we believing that ChatGPT will be disruptive for certain of these functions? Absolutely, we do. And this is why we are already working now on certain use cases to help our customers to further disrupt and I hope you're going to join us at Sapphire because we will have some very excitements, ex exciting announcements, uh, announcements at our annual customer conference. Christian, obviously the, the, the focus on companies now is to, for, for management to demonstrate efficiency and, and to show that they can run a lean business model. Back in January, you announced 3,000 headcount to go. Mm -hmm. What further plans do you have at this stage for restructuring operations or trimming more fat? Yeah, looking that we are off to such a great start now in Q1 and looking at our momentum and the pipeline, there are no further plans for restructuring right now. Of course, also given that, we, that the macroeconomic situation stays like it is, we have a very booming business. And we also just announced a few new innovations like you know, Quo with SAP, where we are addressing millions of mid-market customers to grow and scale their business with our true now native cloud ERP. We also announced SAP Data Sphere, where we're actually harmonizing the data layers for a company as a whole to set the foundation for AI. And so our innovation pipeline is strong as well. So no, there are no further plans for restructuring this year.